Although this week brought us opening day in Major League Baseball, it's never a bad time to think about America's largest revenue producing sport, football. More specifically, one of the most prominent challenges facing the $12 billion National Football League is concussion prevention. Although a renewed focus on proper tackling techniques, thank you Coach Brame, should help, the primary focus remains on developing better helmets. Here's where Seattle-based Vices enters the playing field. Careful to depict themselves as a medical technology company instead of a sporting goods manufacturer, Vices has reportedly spent over $20 million developing a helmet that works sort of like a car bumper bed mattress combo. Dubbed the Zero One, it uses four separate layers to slow the forces of impact. The top layer absorbs impact by deforming the part of the helmet taking the hit, kind of like a car bumper. The next layer uses a bunch of columned materials that bend and buckle, somewhat like smaller, more reactive mattress springs that help distribute and mitigate the impact. The third layer, or arch shell, replaces the inflatable bladder of traditional helmets with a customized system that matches head measurements with one of three shells. The form liner makes up the final layer, working with the arch shell to conform to a player's head. The Zero One offers 60 different sizing combinations in helping to distribute force accordingly. Its design also provides a wider field of view in aiding reaction times. Former NFL players working with Vices include Tony Dorsett, Jerry Rice, and Roger Staubach. Moving forward, Vices plans to have the Zero One assessed by Virginia Tech's star rating system for concussion protection, which has essentially become the industry standard. Even as the company awaits these results, it's taken orders and is planning to ship helmets before the start of the 2017 season. Excess forehead pressure and chin straps on buckling were issues during testing, which Vices claims to have addressed. But the bigger issue could be one of price. The Zero One comes in at about $1,500 a helmet. That compares to $400 bucks for a top-of-the-line high school helmet. Vices acknowledges that the price is probably beyond high school and youth players, and that while they're targeting pro and college teams, the company is also exploring partnerships and fundraising options to make their helmet more widely available. I'm Jeff Ranke and this is IAN Now.